After two terms as president of Tanzania, Jakaya Kikwete will step down later this year. He recently visited the Woodrow Wilson Center, where he reflected on his time in office, the state of U.S.-Africa relations, and also provided a preview of his post-presidency plans. He discussed these topics and more with Africa Program Director Mande Muyangwa. That's the focus of this edition of Rewind. As his final term comes to a close in October, we've asked President Kikwete to reflect on his presidency, looking at the many accomplishments that he has had during his administration, as well as some of the challenges he faces, and as well as looking forward and to uh, the broader continent in Africa, um, what are some of the opportunities and the challenges going forward. Just yesterday, for those of you that were following this, just yesterday, the UN Secretary General appointed President Kikwete to chair the high-level panel on global responses to health crises, a timely appointment given the recent Ebola crisis, Ebola crisis in West Africa. He is the recipient of numerous honors and awards, and his long career in public service was encouraged and nurtured by former President Nyerere, the first president of Tanzania. I was elected in 2005, the first time and again 2010, on the pledge that I will deliver on the promise made by my party in our, in our election manifesto of better life for every Tanzania. My shabora, kukilam Tanzania, that's why they say. This invitation could not have come at a better time than this. I'm going to leave office after the elections in October on completion of my mandatory two terms as president of my great country. I've had the opportunity to serve. I think I made my contribution. It is time to move on. With regards to health care, we have built more dispensaries, more health centers, and more hospitals. As a result, more Tanzanians have access to better health services these days. HIV infection rates have also come down. We were at 8%, per, 8 now we're at 5.1%. We have met the MDG target for, for reduction in, 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 in HIV infection rates. The number of people who have access to clean water, uh, clean and safe potable water, has increased from 74 to 86 in urban areas and from 53 to 60% in rural areas. This is an area where we need to do better with regards to rural water supply. The number of people who have access to electricity also has increased from 10% in 2005 to 36%. We had given ourselves a target of 30% by 2015. We reached 36% two years ago. And you think by, by the end of the year, when we take stock, probably we, get, we go to 40% or, or, or above. So you didn't touch a little bit on your plans for the post-presidency phase of your life. And I wondered if you could talk a little bit about what your, your thinking is in that area. I'm working on, 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 on my own, my, on my own foundation. Mm -hmm. My focus essentially would be, would be on, on health issues, agriculture, health issues, maternal child health. I, I want to continue on doing those issues. As you look back over Tanzania's history, in terms of the management of diversity mm -hmm. that has uh, enabled Tanzania to hold together yes. uh, over these years, what would, you see, what would you say have been the two critical factors uh, in management of that diversity? Because the management of diversity is an issue that has plagued so many African countries mm -hmm. and is really at the root of so much of the conflict we see in uh, many countries, the politicization of diversity and the mismanagement of diversity. Mm -hmm. Our first president had a lot of foresight. The first thing he dealt with was tribalism. And when he, he eliminated chiefs, and there were very strong chiefs and kings and emperors, that was abolished. The other thing was whenever, whenever you, you, you feel any form in government, there is no reference to tribe. Nobody would ask you what tribe you are. Neither, there is no reference to religion, unless you go to hospital. So, uh, What do you see as the most critical obstacles mm. to Tanzania raising its uh, ranking and providing a more <coughs> favorable environment to people, both local uh, citizens, mm -hmm. but also international partners engaging Tanzania? on the economic front? All I can say is that we are trying our best. We are starting from very low levels. And when you have a GDP capital of $375, that's the annual income. 
I don't know how many of you would survive on an income of $375. Even for a day, probably it, 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 it is a problem. But these are the realities that, that, is, that is where we start from. So for, our, for, for some of us, it's, it's, it's really missionary work mm -hmm. to really put in place the, the, the policies, put in place the, the, the right measures to be able to, to slowly or steadily lift our people out of, out, out of this misery. So far, so good. For more information on the Wilson Center's Africa program, visit wilsoncenter.org and search under the Programs tab.